Tony Mida. Hello everyone, it's Tony. So a last minute video on my part. I wasn't actually aware of any of this, but actually the Refund Sisters are making their performance debut. Now, uh, if you aren't familiar with Refund Sisters, it all makes sense because I wasn't too too much either. It's actually part of a follow up to the series of one SSAK3 Sakusuri, which was uh, Ihiori as well as Rain as well as Yuji Suk were doing a performance like as a group because in part for a t reality kind of like series that they did a spin-off so they made a kind of like k-pop group and it did very very well they got a lot of views they got a lot of like public attention just because of the pure hype i can think you had Ihiyori, you had rain you have uj suck kind of like making a group together very very cute so this is a continuation of this and this was now going to be actually refund girls which is features jesse hwasa mamu's hwasa as well as Ihiyori, the legend herself and then um jung hwa four artists four very like celebrated um female artists in the K korean world and this is going to be their track title don't touch me so hopefully you guys enjoy this video reaction it's a little bit quick i know i'm not too too informed in this unfortunately but i think it's still going to be a great great song especially if ssak3 is anything to go off of so without further ado let's get into it so we're getting that old vibes you look so weird man is he jimmy oh did, oh he's like playing the persona of like a guy named jim okay he fits like that like old school like miami vice jimmy guy vibes. <laughs> 음악 중심에서 그첫 데뷔 무대를 갔습니다. 여러분 기대되시죠? Oh, is this a musical performance? Don't touch me. 바로 Don't touch me. 원정. Ripon Sisters. 그 노래 여러분 바로 지금 들려드리고 있습니다. It's showtime. It's showtime. Oh, oh, they even have an intro. Damn. I think this is um, Chunghua. Chunghua. That's Ihiori for sure. I'm almost yeah. That's Ihiori. Oh, I'll leave SSAK3 their song Beach Again linked in the description box for you guys to check out to see a comparison of their performances. Definitely probably going to be a lot more lighthearted compared to this song, but definitely going to nice be a nice kind of like return to the old school like vibes I think of music because the last one was kind of like old school retro vibes and I think this one's probably going to build on that too just from what we're hearing in the very beginning of this intro. Hwasa, okay, okay. Bamboo was making a comeback, by the way. Pre-release is next week. I mean, yep, yeah, song. Okay, okay. Okay, sexy, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I like how they're using part of Jesse's new new nana in this. This reminds me all the way more I like Colossus' voice. It's super unique in that little section right there. Na, da, da, na, 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 don't touch me. Oh, kind of like has a little Middle East rated flows to this one. Blah, 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 Jesse. Jesse just comes in with that deep, deep voice, kind of. Like, it's really nice to break everything up because you've got some really high note vocalists here, and it just breaks everything up and really kind of like refreshes the song, adds a bit different, like, of a vibe to it. Well done. Don't touch me. We, I always forget that Jesse's a really talented vocalist just purely because we always hear doing a lot more rap, kind of like gangster rap, but she does have some really nice songs, like Nam in particular, which is off her most recent album. Very, very nice, like very uh, vocal song, and it really shows off her vocal abilities, and here you get to remind yourself that like, oh, Jesse actually is a vocalist also. The problem is I can't distinguish who Ihiori is, the problem is, because I'm not too, too familiar with her. Here's some rapping, Jesse. I like, I really like the beat. Oh. 
See, this kind of like vibe throws it really kind of like retro school back. And then I think like Huasa and Jesse kind of like bring it to modern age. So we're kind of like playing this like game, this time skip game between old school K pop, new school K pop, old school, new school. Like, I like how, what they're doing here. Also, it's like the perfect bridge too because her voice is like very special and very unique but it has like this old school vibe at the same time very new very new let's get it Hwasa. oh yo Hwasa's voice in that part was nice man Baba, I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Like the way she did, brought it. Boss's facial expressions with Jesse's also like just really add something to this. Like it really sells the performance. Wow! Wow! Nice high note. Nice sustain. This is actually a bop, no lie, really catchy. It almost reminds me, now that I think about it, kind of like a vibe of like the Pussycat Dolls, like that type of like song, type of music style, like, it's really cool. Honestly, very, very nice. Like I think if you were to take the Pussycat Dolls and if you ever put them in Korea, this is kind of like what you would get out of it. Very, very impressive performance. And song. Very impressive. I think Ihioi is finally the one with the blonde hair, actually. That's possible. That's most likely what I think it is. So, guys, this is my quick, quick reaction to Don't Touch Me by the Refund Sisters. Very fun, very cool. And honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect, especially with UJ Sock opening like Jimmy, like that. But it definitely kind of like set the tone, set the mood for like this old school, kind of like retro vibe, almost like Miami retro back in the 70s, 80s, which was a kind of like a similar tone that they were going for Sasuri SSAK3 with Beach Again, very retro vibes. This one is a bit brought more to the modern era. It feels kind of like an old school Pussycat doll song, in my personal opinion, in terms of also visuals it kind of has that kind of a vibe to it very sexy very powerful just like some four very powerful women performing on stage together and it definitely has this cool like middle eastern beat at the same time jesse brought in that nice hardcore rap that also brought in some nice deep tones to the song that i think was much needed hwasa brought in this own unique voice that i think was the bridge between the other two members um jung hwa as well as uh Lee Hyo -Yi. like they're kind of like an older school voice and they do set, like have more of like these vocal parts but it kind of like sounds a bit old school but then Hwasa comes in and kind of like bridges those two gaps together and just really makes it something that come like goes between old school and modern old school modern so like I like how she kind of like is the bridge for that really really nice and overall I think that Lee Hyori and Um Jung Hwa unfortunately I can't differentiate the two of them because I'm not too familiar with either of them unfortunately they're kind of like outside of the realm of my k-pop knowledge but I do like appreciate can appreciate their like nice vocals and I can appreciate like that each one has a unique voice has a unique style of singing and and it really really matched the song i'm very happy to hear that like the song didn't kind of like just happen to match the voices. it kind of felt like it was tailored for their voices in the, those portions and it really did fit them very well so very overall a very cool performance curious as to what's to come next i'm curious if ehoi is going to make another group <laughs> but with that being said guys you could bet that i'll be reacting to them if they do make another one so hopefully you did enjoy this video thank you so much for watching come some and as, as i mentioned i'll leave ssak3 linked in the description box for you guys to go check out another ehoi work and possibly maybe another just video for you guys but with that being said guys hopefully you did enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and until next time this has been tony and you can say goodbye and i'll see you in the next one